assistance. But come now. I think it is time you accepted the fact that it is not within your power to stop me. Enough talk, Pokolin. Or whoever you are. This time there will be no escape for you. Escape? I assure you, I have no intention of fleeing. I would have finished you back at Dawn's Deep were it not for the fact that Krenshinaban willed it otherwise. Sounds to me like you're nothing but a pawn to Krenshinaban, a mindless puppet that dances at its whim. I am not interested in your feeble-minded perceptions. The Shard is nothing but a tool to me. I have used its power to further my plans and gain advantage where none existed before. I am its master. Now who's being feeble-minded, it is you who has been used by Kren Shinobon. Now that you have failed to serve its purposes, the Shard has betrayed you. Please, do not insult me with such transparent lies. Deception is a delicate art form, and should not be practiced by one as clumsy and inexperienced as yourself. It is no lie. How do you think we got here? The Shard led us to you. It wants us to destroy you. Impossible! Kunshinaban serves me! It has obeyed my commands all along, aiding my cause and... It served... It served you only to serve itself. Its evil is fueled by the desire for conquest. But reopening this porter, portal is not conquest, it's madness. What will be left to rule once the minions of hell are set free on this world? I care nothing for ruling this miserable land. The scope of my desire is far beyond your mortal comprehension. I exist solely for the purpose of corrupting the corruptible. To me, this world is nothing but a fertile field. A vast crop of temptable souls. And now... It is harvest time! Consider yourselves fortunate! You alone shall witness this historical moment! Behold! The circle is complete! What was undone so long ago has been done once more! The doors to the lower plains have been thrown wide! And now my brethren are free to plunder this world for its immortal spoils. Soon the ranks of the Blood War army will swell with thousands of fresh souls. Hold, Pokolin. It will take more than boasting to bring you victory this day. Everard? Jared's stone. I have never seen it. Everard, how did you get here? The glyphs. They dissolved once I felt Tempest within me, calling me to battle. I know now what I must do. What Jared had to do. Everard, don't. There must be another way. The tale of Jared's stone doesn't mean... The tale of Jared's stone is a lesson in sacrifice. Sacrificing oneself so that others might live. That was Jared's choice. It has taken me a long time, too long, to realize the nobility in such a gesture. Everard, stop. What are you doing? Fools! Do you think you can defeat me so easily? The priest has done nothing but delay the inevitable. I still possess the secrets of unlocking the portal. It is only a matter of time before I open the gate once more. You won't get a chance. Your time is over. Over? 
Hoover? On the contrary, my time has only just begun! All right, where the hell is that damn demon at? He's over there. All right, let's just do what you got to do. Let's go to Peldor. I will do what I can. Move over here. Oh, of course, a golem's gonna chase me. And let's start unloading on this thing here. Big bees, chain lightning, vitriolic sphere. Let's hit them. I'm gonna hit him with that. He's hitting him. All right, let's go back to Peldor. Let's crank out. Let's put some cloud kill out there. Let's put some Gadlies, and then just Raven Feeblement. All right, he's damaging him. Come on, guys. All right, let's see if we can force him over here into this. Alright, let's start cranking out some magic missiles, I guess. Come on. Almost dead, near death, come on. Oh shit. Damn, almost dead, come on. There it is. Defeated at last. Defeated! The demon fell with a roar that shook the walls of the underground chamber. But the hero's moment of victory was short-lived, for as the form of their vanquished enemy lay broken upon the floor, so too was the power of the shard broken. The companions soon found themselves scrambling to escape as the fortress began to collapse around their ears. No sooner had they emerged from the secret threshold than the entire tower came crashing down, shattering into a million pieces. Triumphantly, the party of adventurers stood among the ruins, basking in the glory of final victory. And as the first rays of dawn glittered off the scattered fragments of the crystalline tower, 
a light snow began to fall over the once again peaceful town of East Haven. And so ends the final chapter in my tale, with the forces of good triumphant over the forces of evil. It wasn't long before the destroyed town of East Haven was rebuilt, and a new temple dedicated to Tempus was erected upon the site of the buried portal. As for the vanquished demon, Belhifet, defeated on the prime, he was banished back to the depths of hell, where he languished for a period of a hundred years, tormented by the memory of his mistakes, and waiting for the day he would return to Pharaoh and exact his revenge. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. Is that it? Nice. That was a good mod. That was the second time I actually played that game. I enjoyed it this time, too. All right, that was a good one. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I know sometimes it gets a little bit boring, but that's just my style of play. Uh, please uh, leave a comment, put a like on there, subscribe. Let me know what you think about these uh, these Let's Plays that I'm doing. I'm going to do a lot more. I, just, I, I do this a lot just for fun, so... Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, now, this is a travesty. Signing off.